Hello, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to learn what light is. Ancient Greek in 400 BC thought that we can see things because our eye shoots some kind of rays and they return back. It seems obvious because animals seem to have fire in the eyes at night, so why can't humans too? Around 1000 AD, an Arab scientist named Ibn al haytham proved that light is a natural agent which stimulates sight and makes things visible. Then in 17th century, Isaac Newton, uh, sorry, Sir Isaac Newton did a couple of experiments and established that lights are particles. And now, today we know that light has dual nature, it behaves both as wave and particle. And now we are going to talk about reflection of light. Now as you can see in this image, M1, M2 is a plane mirror. A ray of light OA falls on the mirror at a point A, which is uh, here point A and is reflected in a definite direction along AB, right? The ray OA and OB are called incident ray and the ray AB is reflected ray. I is the angle of incidence and R is the angle of reflection of the light. The line AN is the normal, this line is the normal. Now what does the law of reflection says? The law of reflection says the incident ray, the normal and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane which is clear by this diagram that the incident this one the reflected this one and the normal all are in the same plane the angle of incidence i is equal to angle of reflection r right so these are the two laws of reflection and one more point that the law of reflection is not only valid for plane mirror but also for spherical or curved surfaces right now what are some examples of reflection first the leaf appears green because it reflects green color and absorbs all the other, right? We see object because of light and we see them in a particular color because of the reflected ray, right? The second example is you can see yourself in the mirror because of reflection. So I have a box in which I have placed a mirror to demonstrate the laws of reflection. I have a very basic uh, laser pen, right? Nothing fancy to it. And now let's see. Now you can see here that the angle of reflection and the angle of incidence are equal. And if I increase the angle of incidence, then the angle of reflection also changes accordingly. Right? So this is a very basic setup to demonstrate angle of reflection, angle of incidence, normal, and uh, in particular, the law of reflection. So this is all about reflection and in the next video I will discuss about refraction of light.